everybody and welcome to the Todd Vlog. It's time once again for an episode of Bookmarks. Yes, our exercise in internet frivolity where I share with you some of the most interesting things I've found on the web and I got some good ones this time so I'll try to be quick and try to explain them clearly so you can know exactly what you're getting into. Number one, I'm calling this link Michael Bay Strikes Again. This is from a, uh, a news channel in Washington, D.C. where they are filming uh, Transformers 3 and there was a very funny thing that the, the local news station caught there on tape. I'm not going to share with you what happened but you can click the link and it's very funny to see sort of newscasters and Transformers and uh, the people of Washington DC. It's great. It's, it's perfect. It's exactly what you would want a news clip of the Transformers filming to be. Number two, I love this site. It's called The Daily What and uh, recently they posted a really cool optical illusion. I've never seen this one before, but I loaded it up, stared at it for 30 seconds, and then when you look away, it's really, really cool. I've never seen anything quite like it, so I'm linking it below. Uh, just don't do it on your phone while you're on the car because you could possibly uh, injure someone. So uh, it's a very cool optical illusion that will stick with you for about two or three minutes. So just get, get some room, make some time, and then go check out uh, that illusion at the Daily What. Book number three um, is called The Coolest Family Project Ever. Uh, this was really cool. It came out on a website last week uh, called Tested. And this is a video of a father and son who uh, decided they were going to make a project where they were going to launch a camera into space all on their own. So they used a weather balloon, an HD camera, an iPhone, and just a few other pieces of gear and they actually launched it. So there's a great video. It's actually on Vimeo, but I think going through Tested is a much better way to find it. So I'm going to put the link down below. You can, you can kind of look at some background and they got some great video footage. Uh, it's only about five or six minutes long, but I think you'll be really impressed with how much work they put into it and the end result, sort of what happened as this camera fell back to earth and how they ensured that it would be safe and that they could find it. So check it out. Three quick YouTube links. I'm going to kind of hit these all together. Number one is a YouTube video called I Hate Football. Uh, a little boy who's a diehard Raiders fan. Very, very upset uh, and screaming at the TV. It's cute, but it's also a little bit upsetting that uh, there will be families where children would be that upset about sporting events. Number two YouTube clip uh, is, uh, some of us have seen this already, but it is the Michael J. Fox teaser for the Scream Awards. It's a uh, Back to the Future themed promo starring Michael J. Fox, and it's really great. Third one is a YouTube video from Lenny Kravitz, who's, who was in Paris uh, working on his new album. And so this video follows him where he meets up with a musician that, that he knows and watches him play a show. Then they jam together. Then they go eat. Then they go back into the studio. And so in this four-minute video, you sort of follow them up until 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning. It's a really cool video. Uh, Lenny Kravitz in Paris. All right, the next bookmark is from Unclutter. This is a site that's dedicated to making sure your life is as simple as can be. They actually uh, have access to this really cool uh, sort of timeline and, and outline uh, from J.K. Rowling as she was writing the Harry Potter books. I can't remember which one, but in one of the books she's made this really amazing list and you can even kind of click on it see it bigger as you look at kind of how she did her timeline and how each storyline intersects it's really really cool it's all hand drawn and uh, so if you're a creative person you might get a kick out of looking at that seeing how all those things intersect and the last bookmark of the day i just saw this about five minutes before starting the camera rumors have just surfaced that john ham of Mad Men is going to be the new Superman. Christopher Nolan is sort of helming a new Superman uh, movie called The Man of Steel and the rumors on the internet are that John Hamm uh, will be Clark Kent slash Superman uh, and most people are pretty excited about it. He looks like he'd be the perfect guy. He's done comedy. He's done drama. He's in great physical condition. Uh, so no one knows if it's, it's not, it hasn't been confirmed yet but maybe we might just have a new Superman on our hands better than Brandon Ralph. Woo, sheesh. So those are all the bookmarks. I hope I didn't take too much of your time. Don't forget the links are in the description box below. The doobly-doo, my pants bar, my underbar, whatever you want to call it. You can go look down below, follow those videos, and have a great time surfing the internet.